Your girl Merce today. And we have another special guest. We're just gonna go right into our next guest. I know I said uh, before the break that we were gonna have some um, hot topics to talk about, but we'll get to that in a little bit. Man, I've known this guy for a really long time. He DJed a party for me. One of my birthday parties like years ago, I think it was my 21st, I wanna say. So that's like really special, I'll never forget that. My homie, DJ SB, what's up? What's up, what's up? I wasn't even, even expecting to see you. Like, no? I didn't know you worked here. All right. Yeah. I didn't know you'd be live. I didn't know that. Yeah, <laughs> all the way live, right here. I'm down to your radio. What's up, though? How are you? What's up, what's up? I'm happy to be here. Let's see what's going on. You know, I heard a lot about this uh, station, so it's happy to be here right now. Nice. I know you've been traveling the world. Yep, traveling the world, DJing. Uh, so you're Tiger's DJ? Yes, Tiger's DJ. Uh, Can you tell us for people who may not know who you are, like how did you get started DJing for Tiger? Uh, um, well, I've known him since 2005. We was just running around together. He was riding and stuff. And uh, I was just his homie. Wasn't trying to DJ, just, you know, holding the homie down. You know, like when you see somebody doing something that you ain't ever did, you just like, you just want to be here to help. So as his career took off, uh, he was like, you should just try DJing. I was like, nah, I'm good. Like, I was just like scared. I didn't want to be in front of people. <laughs> right. like, I'm not the talkative type. And then I'm like, DJ, DJ Clue. I'm like, that was the only DJ I heard of. <laughs> like, but that's like my favorite DJ too. But, yeah, like so that. like, I'm like, I don't know what to do. So, you know, time went on. His career started getting bigger and bigger. So bought some turntables, bought a mixer. And like, your party was like, just getting my feet wet, like that was probably like my first big. How party. did he do, Mercy? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> I was scared. Even oh, there. I used to learn. I'm not a scary person, but I just don't like to be in front of a lot of people and then like. It's pressure. It's pressure, yeah. Like people so, how did you like, get over your fears? Uh, well, performing, I was like, they're not there to see me. They're there to see him. So right. I just was like, as long as I do what we know I need to do, I'm good. You know yeah. what I mean? It's not about the people. Like, it is about the people, but like, just like. Because if you turn the ball, they're going to be looking at you. Right, you got to look at the party. Nah, I've, been, I've, been, I've, been, happy. I've been there before. Like, I was, we was on tour with Drake in 2011. And, like, I'm DJing, the record stopped, track stopped. And just, everybody's just looking at me. I'm like, all right, <laughs> I'm trying to get on the next plane out of here. Like, right, right, right. <laughs> that was like my worst DJ experience. It was like at a college. Like, Six you weren't able to get it back up? No. Nah, oh, oh, man. Wow. <laughs> what kind of cool conversation are you doing? I see where you're going with it. You were coming back up. I'm talking about the whole thing. That's the whole thing. That's the whole thing. You weren't able to get it back up. Well, they got so many names for weed now, so I just call it weed, you know? Right. And I'm, I'm good. I'm ready to go. I rock clubs uh, by myself up here in Spur. This is uh, Dubai, Australia. By myself. So DJ is going pretty good. Have you ever thought about crossing over to the producer side because we have people like DJ Mustard, yeah. DJ Drama? Yeah. So have you been like, well, let me start making instrumentals or beats? Yeah, I made like five beats. Uh, a couple people rapped on them too, but it just wasn't. Not to say it wasn't for me, it was just, it took too much patience and I was just like, oh, real fast. Mm -hmm. But I do rap. A lot of people don't know that. Oh, okay, you're also an artist. Yeah. Yes. So, so I got the mixtape in 2015 on my birthday call. Oh, God. People was like, it's tight, but you got to make another one after I dropped the first one. So mm -hmm. I was like, okay, people were doubting me. So I got the album called Proud last March 26th. Mm -hmm. And people loved it. And it was 14 tracks, everything original. I wrote all my lyrics, even wrote some books. <laughs> uh, you know. So do you feel like you could be both? You feel like you could be a DJ and an artist. So yeah, like yeah. when your career picks up as a rapper, yeah. like you are DJ, you like own, yeah, you're DJ. Show. Show. Exactly, and that's tight. Y'all brought that up because now when I can DJ clubs, I can like this record even going off right now. I rap on this beat, like you can right. mix it in, you know. Mm -hmm. Hell yeah. Because people smart. always sometimes just, smart. just shocked yeah. and stuff like, oh, you rap? Oh, that's cool. And then you like, yeah, like I'm on iTunes. You know, your SoundCloud is cool. And get your plays and stuff like that. So just trying to get me people uh, just familiar with uh, me Was rapping. Was rapping your first? Side. Well, my love, you know, my love is this, nah, my love was sports, you know how that goes, mm -hmm. baseball, basketball, football, and then, you know, 
I feel like if, you, if I would listen to my parents more, maybe I'd be successful doing that. But as far as music, DJing is my like my biggest passion because this is what got me here, you know. But I feel like the rapping is just I'm just a fan of rap, so I was just like, let me try it. You yeah. know, and people like you got a dope voice, you sound like Ice Cube, but like what y'all don't think so? But, <laughs> yeah. You got any songs? You got songs with you? Yeah, you got some songs on iTunes. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I got, I got, I got some stuff, see, and that's cool because uh, I don't speak a lot, so it's good I'm here right now talking to y'all and just. Yeah, you know, we're honored man. to be able to get you there. Yeah. Oh, open up. and being an artist, yeah. you definitely got to talk. Yeah. And a DJ, shit, yeah. you got to hype the fuck. Clothing line. Right, I was about to ask you about that. I know, I know. Clothing. HWBP Worldwide. It stands for Health, Wealth, Blessed, Positive, Prosperity. Yeah. So it's been going for four years, you know. I was always the fly guy, Christian High, you didn't ask anybody. <laughs> I just wanted to make some uh, some clothes, you know, that I can wear because I was just like tired of supporting other brands. Only brands I really supported was like Nike and stuff like that. Our fences, like Fila. You ain't no Last King shit? Uh, yeah, yeah, nah, I ain't got none of that. But did you guys collaborate? Yeah, we collaborated before okay. we did like a uh, camouflage edition. In fact, it's in the car, the jacket, but it was hot. Um, <laughs> jacket, it sold out, you know? Yeah. It's like an army jacket, something like you got, but it was a jacket before. Oh, it must be fly, because I'm like, I got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But so, with you being with Tiger, well, being Tiger DJ, I know he is in the media a lot and it's a lot of yes. and paparazzi. For real? <laughs> yeah, so, like, do you ever get caught up in nah. that storm and how do you handle it? Um, well, with me, everybody that kind of know me know like I'm low key, and that's uh, that's always been me. So like uh, the paparazzi thing is just crazy to me, you know, because I was with him and nobody knew who he was, and he told me I'm you gonna know, be famous. He told me that, and I was just like, what the hell is famous? Like, I didn't know. You. Yeah. Not like that. Like you're famous is like Michael Jackson. Is this like, like at what point? Like mix the line, take the line. In the uh, line nah, in the for like two thousand, two thousand. He hate performing at Gardena Boat. Two thousand six. Y'all gotta love that song. That shit. Y'all never started. Nah, Tucker had some. I That's remember that. Tiger had some bangers before Lime and the Coconut situation started happening. Yeah. Tiger had like some bangers when he used to go to Gardena. He used to, he used to perform there too. Like yeah. so, he low key had some bangers. He used to fuck with Dave Free. You remember like yeah. way back yeah. in the day. But yeah. Dave Free is now his name Mike Tolan now. So you know he on TV. <laughs> Niggas to move yeah. on the day all way. Yeah, shout out TD. Yeah, I know school TD. Q. That's my voice. Like yeah, yeah, man. I remember niggas was nice. niggas was performing. Uh, what was the word at them Crees parties? Remember the Crees party? That is. I'm, 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 I
I'm like, nah, I don't do that. And he was holding his baby, and that was gonna be my awkward right. and all before it, even yeah. I knew anything about that. You know what's crazy? What I really feel, I feel like if you think a thought, like somebody else is thinking that same oh, thought, you better right. hurry to fuck up. Oh, man, I was going to start like that too. Man. Oh, it is. Yeah. <laughs> we would have been twins. All right. <laughs> And yeah. great minds think alike, bro. Yeah, that's true, that's true, that's true. That's I never knew what SB stood for. It's it's my real name. So my name is Shakir, which is which means grateful. And I've been screaming that, not screaming that, <laughs> but I've been telling people for years my name is grateful. And okay. now like Khaled album is grateful and people just like grateful, <laughs> grateful. I'm like, I was about that. But anyway, Shakir means grateful. You know the right so track, African man. and Bahati, it means good fortune winning. So, That's cool. a nice name. It's my yeah. parents, Rashid and Queen. You know, they named me that. Yeah. That's so I see everybody like be on it, like good stuff, stuff now. Oh so, yeah, everybody right. comes to school now. It's like I'm actually born like that. Yeah, I'm gonna wear all black. You know? <laughs> so any new music coming soon? Yeah, I'm actually in the studio right now, um, preparing to drop my third uh, project. I'm not sure if I'm gonna call it an album or if it's just a mixtape. Street album, I don't know, but it's just gonna be uh, eight to ten new songs. I got my guy here, Mr. Medina. Yeah. Um, <laughs> this guy is incredible. I met him in a barbershop, just chopping it up, talking about the 49ers. You know, I'm okay. oh, that's cool. Go Niners! Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 we just chopping it up about the 49ers and laughing. You know, sports is like my like best thing or my favorite thing. I'm sorry to talk about. You know, man, most people. Yeah, and uh, he was like. <laughs> Yeah. We, we, we got a new routine where everything's flipped up and changed around. So we talked about sports and he was like, I seen him, he gave me his project and I was like, yo, I got my project too. And I was actually selling my project. I gave it to him for free. You know what I mean? I was like, here, man. Right. And then I was overseas one day. Uh, he's on a track called Memories. And that, that's actually one of the, like people's favorite songs on Proud. And then I like wrote a hook, like on a 14 hour plane ride. I sent it to him when I landed. He sent me a reference and we got in the studio and then we made this like a little ghetto, not a little, cause I don't want to be little myself. Mm, my, that's my, right. My, my, my work. But we made it like a classic, like a, a real street 1990s ghetto classic. Uh, one of my favorite songs ever is uh, Summertime in LBC. And that with, that's what the song we did remind me of. So I was happy. That uh, he was able to uh, sing, you know, a lot of people. I sing, I rap, I DJ, I dance. You know what I'm saying? Right. But you gotta give people a chance. Cause, oh, yeah. yeah, but you also have to give people a chance because you never know. Right. You know what I'm saying? So. That's what's up, man. Right. That's just dope. You know, you gotta talk to people. Yeah. Get to know right. strangers. And that be my downfall, I guess, in this music industry. Like people like people yeah. like you. People actually want to mess with you, but you don't be talking to people. And I'm just like. <laughs> So would you come across as mean maybe to them? They they think it's mean, but right. hey, that's but my man right here. I'm one of the right. nicest people in the world. I you know, know what I mean? Here, you can have my shirt. You know what I mean? But I I know a lot of people like that. One of my best. It's like you have to be like thirsty, all right? And this mm -hmm. yeah, it's a it's a fine line between networking and thirsty though. <laughs> it's like I was just having my man like I went to a, like a like a uh, somebody was showing off their clothes and stuff in Beverly Hills, nice big old house. And like people was just walking up to me, like, oh, what do you do? And I'm like, I'm an artist. It's like, let me get your Instagram. And like, you just gotta be like, it's weird. But yeah. I was like, nah, let me like kind of stop being yeah, like right. that. You never know, like, you might got a plug to right. you know, end up on Dad's radio. Right. Or something. Right. I don't right. know. Right. 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 So, never know. You know, even how I met, even how I met Adrian, he booked Tiger like six years ago. He just stayed cool. Yeah, He's a real one. Shout out to Speedy. <laughs> and when you get your project done, please. Speedy, were you able to show the light? Yeah, 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 for sure. Aw, oh, see, I, I swear I was like, I was like, damn, that look like Speedy. Yeah, I was like, hold on now. I know I'm not crazy. <laughs> you was Sorry, in the second commercial? So it's so random. It was random as fuck? <laughs> what happened? What was you doing? You was driving? What was you doing? Just, well, don't ask me. He's getting an answer and nobody will hear. We'll talk about that later. This isn't about him right now. Yeah, but um, <laughs> yeah, when I drop a new project for sure, you know, uh, um, whatever I got to do to get back in here, you know, 10 toes down, you know, as they say, so I'll be back. If y'all want to check out my clothing line, go to the last King store on Merrill Road, 7829 Merrill Road. And you guys just redid it, right? Like a whole section. Yeah, it's all white. Well, I didn't redo it. Shout out to King Trail. He's the mastermind behind it. Oh, and he's a fucking funny nigga. 
Yeah, he's behind all the, he's the mastermind behind he's this all white store. Yeah. yeah, I'm in there. Heavy, like Tight. six, seven shirts, hats, thingies. Well, when you drop your new project, you are more than welcome to yeah, come back on the show and, yeah, and right. promote, cool. promote the project. So we up. appreciate you coming out. Yeah. Right. Spending some time so talking. Right around the corner. Right. You know. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> right, right, right. Right, right. Yeah, thanks for talking. Yeah, thanks for talking. <laughs> thanks for talking. <laughs> Opening up with us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, let everybody know your Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat. And like follow me on Facebook. Oh, no. Right, right, right. <laughs> no, for real. Old people love Facebook. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's cool though. It's like it's like people you went to school with. I feel like, but um, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Instagram is Riley Dad, R H I L E E underscore Dad. Uh, Twitter DJ SB Daily. Uh, SoundCloud DJ SB Daily. Website djsbdaily.com. Yeah, and uh, that's it for now. In the building. Um, what would your song of the day be? That we My song play? of the day is the Rick Ross intro. I can't get past uh -huh. that song. Yes. That's the best song. Let me talk about that. Right okay, wait, that so is the best song before you go. in the world right now. Right? Before Rick before Ross is the best artist in the world right now. Oh, okay. So Rick Ross is the best. Tupac is the best. Rick Ross is the best right now. Rick Ross up Rick the Ross Oh, shit. All right. There you have he it. He said, of course. <laughs> I was going to say, what's well, the song of yours? I just told you. No, of yours. Oh, of my, oh, I'm but sorry. But we will play that. Oh, band. okay. I'm right. sorry. We'll most, most, of we'll most of the time. Most of the time. Most of the time. Most of the time. It's number, yeah, it's track number four on my project. There you most go. Most of the time, yeah. Most All of the right. time. All right. And then we're going to play that Rick Ross intro. We'll be right back. Dash Radio, Double XL, My Guy Mars. We out.